we are currently at Parque La Mexicana. What used to be before a trash dump here in Mexico City is now the Santa Fe neighborhood. And it is anything but a trash dump today. It's really where all the new high rises are being built. Crazy to see, it's unbelievable. From an architectural perspective, there's so many new buildings and some that are pretty radical in design. So let me take you on a walk around the park. see this major retaining wall behind me, it's going to be the future home of a tower by the late architect Zaha Hadid. I'll try to include a rendering if I can. A bit odd is that there's noticeably less smog in this part of the city. You can actually see the blue sky and even some of the mountains and hills in the distance. I'm not sure whether it's the wind patterns or what it is, or just we're pretty far from the proper downtown, but it's pleasant here. What's up guys? I'm currently here at the Cineteca Nacional with my aunt Ceci. Hi Chris. Ceci uh, comes here like almost every week, yeah? Yes. And it's one of my favorite buildings because of this roof above us. This is a recent addition by my favorite Mexican architect, Michel Roque. The ceiling, I think it brings quite a the sensation of space and light. Bye for now, but uh, we'll see you pretty soon in uh, Mercado Roma Coyoacan. Welcome to Mercado Roma Coyoacan. This is actually the second Mercado Roma location, with the first being in the Roma Norte neighborhood. This place actually just recently opened up, and it's a series of shops and restaurants and bars. We're gonna grab a bite to eat here, and I'll give you a little tour. Some gnocchi and uh, caprese salad at Mercado Roma Coyoacan. Back here at the garage at the Oasis um, Mall. Had to show you guys this. So when you're driving down, you can tell right away whether or not there's a space. I think that's pretty smart, of course. Not very effective right now because all of them are occupied, but you get the idea.
we are currently at Xochimilco, which is a series of waterways here in Mexico City, which you can come with friends or family and have some drinks and go for a boat ride. You can see someone's having a bit more of a party than we are. stepped off the boat for a second to show you something extra extra creepy. We are currently on Doll Island as you can see behind me. So the story here goes that many years ago a little girl drowned and the inhabitants of the island in order to protect themselves from her spirit started placing the dolls everywhere. These days it's a bit of a tourist attraction and people bring dolls as a sort of offering and today there's over 2,000 of these dolls just hanging around, it's kind of disturbing. We're here at the Muak Museum on the UNAM campus in Mexico City. UNAM is not only one of the largest universities in the city itself, but also the country as a whole. This museum, which is private to the university, houses a rotating collection of different artists. Today, I believe Ives Klein is on display, as well as some others. So, I'm gonna give you a tour of the building, and if I can, photograph some of the art as well. Enjoy. That, that uh, was a toilet designed to look like the Sumaya Museum, which is a museum containing the private art collection of Carlos Slim. Now, of course, Carlos is the Mexican billionaire whose companies account for roughly 40% of those on the Mexican stock exchange. Being that he's a multi-billionaire, multi he's a quite controversial figure in Mexico. So that was, a, I guess, a bit of a stab at him. Here at the Monumento de la Revolución. This building was actually originally built for Porfirio Diaz, who was the sort of dictator running Mexico in the turn of the 20th century. He was overturned for many reasons, one of which is during his time ruling, he actually changed the law so that the president could rule infinitely. So inevitably he had to go. And instead of this being a building for Porfirio, it became known as the Monument to the Revolution. And today, it's considered the largest triumphal arch in the world. If you see in the center here, there's a glass elevator that will take you to the top. I'm gonna go buy some tickets and then shoot some video from the observatory. you guys enjoyed seeing some of the sights with me. I'll definitely share with you some of my new adventures next time I come back or to other cities I go. See ya.